Okay guys, so this is what we are going to do in this uh, video tutorials. So it's going to be like, I think it's going to be around five video tutorials. Uh, so I just wanted to show you what, what we're going to do. So we're going to create this guy here and um, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward, so don't worry. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Also another one, I'm going to show you this one. This is another one. This guy here and this guy here. So, uh, yeah, this is what we are going to do. This is the renders, these renders were, were done in Cinema 4D. So, I hope you're gonna like this tutorial, so let's start. Hello guys, so in this tutorial, this one's going to be kind of a quick one. Uh, I'm going to create uh, this character here. So, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to do because it has pretty simple shapes. So we're going to go to 3ds Max and um, we're, going to we're going to start. Okay, so uh, we're going to start from creating a um, box in the top view. So let's do this. And um, so I'm going to create this kind of shape. Then we're going to convert it to editable poly. And then we are going to we are going to select these edges and we are going to press chamfer. So when I'm rotating the camera, I'm using um alt and middle mouse key so this is very easy to do it like this so then i'm creating this chamfer and then we have to create this part so for that i'm going to create i'm going to select this polygon i'm going to press inset i'm going to it like that then press ok and then so we are having basic um, I guess it's supposed to be smaller a little bit yeah something like that so from there we have to cut this shape so for that we are going to In the um, side view, which is this for now, <laughs> this one is the side view. Okay, so and then we're going to vertex mode. We are looking for the quick slice tool. Then we're checking again with our image what we have to do. We're going to create slice here, one slice here, then another slice. We are going to create here, and then one more, one more slice is going to be a little bit higher here on the top and then another one parallel slice here and the last one I'm gonna do it like this but we're going to create it later on so uh, now we have to delete the polygons that we don't need so we are going to select these polygons and we are going to go and delete this here and this bit here so now now we are going to select this vertex move it this way then we're going to select this vertex and 
we are going to move it this way. Yep. Uh, then I guess we're going to lower this part a little bit. I'll correct the position of this thing. And we are going to make this whole thing shorter. A little bit more, I guess. To keep the proportion more or less the same as we have um, in our example. Okay, looks looks similar. And this part I'll keep it like that. Yeah. So now what do we have to do now? So we're going to cut this shape on the top. So we are going right now to the top view. We are going to create symmetry. Okay, let's go for a second. Let's go to the perspective view. And let's see how the perspective works modifier. Uh, symmetry modifier, how it works. Okay. Looks cool. So, go on to the top view and we can select this edge, chamfer, I'd say something like that. Then we have to, somewhere in the middle this thing, no? So, I'd say it's going to be here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this like that. And I'm going to add this thing. Now I'm going to cut some more things. So I'm going to go to the quick slice tool. And I'm going to move this bit there. Move this one here. Okay. So now, again, symmetry. Looks cool. So, next thing, what we have to do, have to create this thing. So, for that, we are going to convert to editable poly, delete these things, this is done basically. Um, I'm going to move this part this way. Now we have to change for these things too. So I'm selecting this thing, this one, this one. And I'm making them chilly. It looks like we have to. Hmm, yeah, I think it's okay. So let's jump for this thing. Yep, like that. Okay, good. Okay, it's good. So, other thing, we have to go to the side view. 
we are going to add FFD modifier to change a little bit our geometry. Yep, exactly like that. And next thing, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, create this hole here. For this purpose, we have to we have to create a cylinder in the front view. It's left view, but it is front view of our model. So we're going to create this cylinder here. And it's going to have 16 edges sides. Sorry, guys. 16 sides. We're going to extrude this. And we are going to go here. Now we're going to create. Um, yeah, I think it has to be slightly bigger. Okay, something like that. Okay, good. So now we're going to... A quick slice here. And then we are going to adjust our grid to fit this circle here. Basically we have to adjust it only, only from one side. Only from one single side. Here, here, we're going to add one more slice here. Okay, good. Okay, we can actually delete half of that. Because we don't need that. And we are going to delete this part too. So I've got our cylinder here. We're going to hide it. Okay, so then we have to we have to we have to slide this part so it's like those polygons we are going to Quick slice tool. And we're going to delete this part here. Okay, maybe not delete. Delete. Well, we're going to detach it. I'm going to attach it again. Okay, this part we definitely don't need, and then these parts are looking like, let's say like that. Let's select these two guys. Yeah, let's select this one, let's make a gap in here, and I guess in here too. Is 
this one is not necessary thing. I'll keep that one. So this guy is going. Mm -hmm. So we see. I have to put this polygons like that. Okay. Yeah. I think it's alright. Maybe a little bit wider here. Okay, cool. So, this part is, is this done. So, next thing, next thing, I've to cut this this pieces here, and then this things there. Okay, cool. So, um, uh -huh. to move this one, symmetry. Okay, what does it look like? Pretty cool, but I still think we have to. We have to put it a little bit this way. Yeah, that looks better, I guess. I think maybe it's because it's supposed to be a little bit wider. So I move this part this way. Maybe that's too much. Yeah, there we go. Convert it to editable poly and let's let's make slices the ones we have there. So for that we're going to select this part. We're going to create where they are one. Two and three. Okay, good. And after that, we are going to we're going to create one more. We're going. Oh, you know what? What we're going to do? We are going to. Chamfer for them. There's our chamfer. Chamfer. Perfect. Then we're going to select this polygon here. And we're going to insert them like that. Then this thing. And we are just going to delete this polygons. Then we are going to select these points. And we're going to move them like that. Basically, we have to select all of these points. Okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe too much. Okay. Perfect. Okay, maybe we'll do this thing. Okay. Now we're going to put it a little bit higher. Oh. 
Okay, after that, what we're we doing? Okay, one more try, guys. So I'm not satisfied with these holes there. Okay. Yeah, that, that's better. So uh, now what we are doing now, we have to we have to cut this thing. So for that, we are going to create here. thing there so from that side it's going to connect yep Great. um <laughs> So we're seeing this thing coming from here, then going. We're going to just jump through this thing, thing now. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Chamfer this much. So it goes down, yeah. It goes down. something like that and then it goes down something like that this thing is going to be straight and then and then we have to cut this thing again Then again, yeah, and then we are going to get this like that. To select these parts here, and I guess we're going to no, not like that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to whoop, yeah, and then we're going to chamfer, chamfer. To delete this shit. Sorry, guys, for that bit word. Okay, good. This is what I wanted. Okay. This is what I wanted. Let's go to the left view because I want to adjust this bit a little. This looks very straight to me. Okay, good. So I've got this, and then I've got what else? What else? To make another symmetry, I guess. Uh, 
but before that I want to weld some points So got yeah, so we have better geometry. And then uh I guess I'd like to do the same here. So we're gonna do it in this remove edge remove okay so we're having better geometry here guys this is important thing okay looks cool it looks pretty cool on this side this side is good too Not triangle, which is nice. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, some more things I want to do right now. To move this part this way, and I'm going to add some edges so we can adjust our circle. This one here, this one there. Good. Okay, nice. And this one here too. So now we can move these vertices a little bit. Adjust the shape. Forget to do it here, so we're going to do it here too. Okay, great. So let's continue our lines where they're supposed to end. Yep, like that. And then this one goes here. Just not anywhere. This one goes here. One here, this one goes all the way here, okay perfect, okay, this thing here, um, we're going to select loop, then loop again, and we're going to move this thing here, this way. Just 
same with this one. Okay, good. Okay, well, let's run this vertexes. And let's make them straight. So after that we are going to make symmetry again. Okay. Symmetry to editable poly. Now I'm going to I'm going to add shell modifier. Shell modifier. Let's go inside. I think this much. Yeah, that's cool. Convert to editable policy. So we have right now this part done. We are going to okay, we are going to add chamfer chamfer and it's going to be something like that but we have to choose here 50 degrees maybe 45 is fine yeah. 40 or 35 20 yeah not jump on everything but important bits no yes Okay, good. It looks good. Convert it to edible poly. So from here we are going to we are going to we're going to create the other parts which is Inner part, how does it look like? It looks pretty similar though. Okay, guys, so in this here we have to create we are going to select these guys here select Five. 
Yeah, let's delete this for now. So what are we are going to do with this? We're going to detach these parts. Detach these parts. Can delete this one. And from this one we can delete this one. No. Just a second. Let's select. Okay, there is somewhere the connection. Oh, okay, the connection is here. Okay, deleting this thing. So now I can delete this top part. Can take the bottom one and then we are going to this part has to be united so we're just uniting them we're going to add weld here Okay, good. These parts. Then we do need this. So now we are we have to select these polygons here. Then we're going to select these things here. To Let's add normal modifier. Normal. Then we are selecting. thing here and we are creating this line with shift selected and we are going to target weld and we are just welding these vertices same happening here, 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 and here. So from there, we are moving this vertex here this way. Basically, we have to select all of them, all of the loop. This again, this should be. Okay, we don't need this thing, we don't need this thing. Either. 